Well, hi folks, I'm going to make some rose bowls today with a rolled rim. These are quite a, these are a bit fiddly because I've got to throw them to a specific size because they've got to have a grill put in them, sat on the top, and there's very little tolerance for them to be any bigger or smaller. So I've got to use my uh, my calipers to to measure the exact size and make sure they're all that size at the top. So we'll get on. Again, I can't show you one of the finished pots because we've run out in the shop. That's the reason I'm making them, so. Yeah, so these are like a flower arranging thing. It's like a whitish bowl, but you can put, uh, as, it's, as the name suggests, you put roses through the little wire grill. bit of a cylinder. I'm going to flare it out a touch. I've not made these for a while so it takes a bit of uh, getting used to to get the right size. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make the, um, the beaded rim by just flattening over the top like so. So it's nice and sharp and then just rolling it over both sides which gives you a nice thick bead at the top so we'll just stretch this out I'm trying to get a bit of an idea of the size it needs to be a bit bigger this is where you just got to keep slowly stretching it out so it's the right size, like that. <coughs> I'll just show you the amount of shrinkage that that'll happen before that before and after the fire, because that's the right size for this. And now, um, when it's fired, and as you can see, it's absolutely miles bigger than the. And the grill that's going to sit in it. So anyway, that's the profile of it. It's just a little sort of semicircular shaped vase with a rim, beaded rim. It's one of the only things that we actually make to a specific size. Apart from things like oil lamps, where we have to get the oil lamp burner to fit, but that's about it, really. So again, at the top like that and then just flattening it out with your finger and then rolling it over it's a good technique to make a nice beady rim on any pot no matter what it is if you've gone a bit thin on the end you can do that on a bowl and it'll give you a nice thicker rim than you've actually got. So again, let's have a look. Sometimes you can be spot on the first go. Don't want to make them too wide because it's a bit harder to narrow them up than it is to stretch it out a little bit more. But you can do it, you just have to collar it in a touch. There we go, that's another one. Like I said, simple shape, but quite nice when you get the little grill on. Something a bit unique. We only made these because we got the opportunity to buy a lot of bankrupt stock of these grills from somebody years ago, so if 
for absolutely peanuts, so <coughs> why not? I think it might trap air in it, but you never do. So, no need to worry about that. Let's see if we can get one bang on. No, miles off. <laughs> For this video, then we'll call it at that. I think. If people want to know what size ball of clay it is. This is a fifth of a stick, which is probably a, just shy of a pound and a half. never weigh anything, we just wave everything in sticks out of the polytunnel, sticks of clay and then we just have these cutters that we that we make for certain size pots and we just use them every time. So it's exactly the same size every single time without having to faff about weighing things like I see people doing. Just that little rolled rim, as you can see, quite a nice effect and quite easy to, very, very easy to do, in fact. So that's that.